Hey, everybody. Oh. I'm just stretching. Oh. Stretching? Get it for this extraneous. Thanks. Yeah. You don't want to pull anything. Yeah, you can get dangerous some. out here when you debate. Pull some hot takes. Hey. I've had some debates that almost turned into fights before, so it was probably probably smart to stretch before you debate and discuss. Oh, yeah. So you can be flexible. Yeah. You never know. We might have to um, trade hands while trading well, with ideas. Those listening probably wouldn't know, well, I guess, unless they're listening live. But it's been a while since we've been together. Yeah. Like, did you guys no. have a nice Easter? Did you have a nice holiday weekend? No. Yeah. No, okay. I didn't have any Easter. All right. What happened? No one's. No. Uh, did you not find the we, eggs? We get into it a little bit. I couldn't. I didn't even have the opportunity. He skipped my house. All right. Oh, oh, Easter buddy. Sorry. Easter buddy That's saw what a good I was thing. doing. And he Bunnies bounced. Are technically <laughs> rodents that we just find more adorable than other rodents. Well, was, uh, do, do you believe in them? Is that a is that the first hot take of the day? I wouldn't be surprised if there was a bunny before that hit an egg on Easter. No, because because um, mammals, it's got it's got to be like a bird egg or something. It can't be. Yeah, or you say there's a bunny out stupid, there. I can see that stupid rabbit picking up a bird egg and hiding it somewhere. Right. And some stupid kid. Because right, there's well, not some of us no good terms thinking them, that the so rabbit is his friend is playing with him and playing a game. Oh. And like, oh, I found the egg. No, no, Some no, of we'll us get, are we'll get canceled. The rabbit, so. Yeah, yeah. He's got a. The Easter Bunny has a big following. I don't want to anger his fan base. Well, let me tell you I something. Mean, you Easter know. Bunny has nothing on Cupid, so. Oh. Well. But, I yo, did. listen. I get it. Uh, it was bad. I didn't even get to celebrate it because I, you, you guys know I had this big move over the break, right? Oh, yeah. The big move. Yeah. That was the move. Hashtag I mean, the big move. You can maybe see by my back. I mean, things aren't going well. I'm, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, broken up about the whole thing. If I'm honest, yeah. um, you know, I haven't had time to set anything up. I've been sick. Uh, it's just the bare essentials right now. You can see I've got my Pokemon themed 3DS. Yes. So I'm just kind of down to the bare essentials right now. That's um, a lot of tissues. Oh, I, yeah, I've been pretty sick about it. Um, yeah. I'm not happy, but it is what it is. My my health and everything with going, you know, moving into a new climate has really affected my uh, health. So just a little bit of a poor Easter on my end. But we, you know, we started with a with a negative and I, hopefully some of one of you's got had a good one. Well, hopefully I, we can we can uh, get it together for the stream, eight. hopefully. And uh yeah, thank you. So you appreciate that. Let's see, he mutes his mic. He... I don't want to. Um, I don't want to offend anybody by the noises that go on because I, like I said, I'm. A we'll bit drop sad. an F in the chat for you. <laughs> appreciate that. Uh, yeah, really I'm trying to think it. of what happened in my church service that is kind of worth talking about. I feel like there was something very extraordinary. Oh, uh, you got some hard rings. Oh man, I can't this, hear anything. Oh, you can't hear me. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I couldn't hear the rain, but I, I'm listening. Oh, good. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. What happened? To... What happened? Didn't mean uh, it was because a... you went to service. You went. Not I went to, to, I went to service. Know. I went to service, yo. I mean, I, what people don't know is that me and God are pretty close. You know, we tight. So sometimes I go through his house. I come through to his house. He he tells me come over, and we chill for a little bit. We talk about mm -hmm. things. He talks to me. Yeah. I talk back sometimes, and then I keep it pushing, man. So. It's nothing to brag about. It's just something that I have in my life that not a lot of other people do. So it's just like, yeah. You know. So I yeah, was in church, is. and uh, there was some person that kind of went on a mini rant about their experience at the YMCA. Mm. Uh, I guess they were preaching to somebody. And, but it just, like, derailed really fast. And that's, like, my uh, one of my things with church. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'll, I can get on that in at another time but sure she got up there and she was just like i was working out and i met somebody at the gym and i we started talking about jesus and i just told her a lot of people need to go back to jesus because the end days are coming and the end days are coming and that's why we need to go Whoa. back to jesus and if we don't go back to jesus well that's their own fault because jesus is trying to speak to us and if you don't listen to jesus i just feel like everybody should just come to church amen and everyone was like amen and i was just like ah. <laughs> Should we like, like hang on what was that about the end well hang on 
she knows I'm something. Like, circle I'm like, back. <laughs> it's just like how quickly it went from like I went to talk to someone about Easter, and then we were just talking about Jesus, and I just told her that the end days are coming, and then I was like, to come back to Jesus. And I was I like, I agree. Circle back to the warning. I agree, but not like that. Like I agree that people, a little urgency. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of urgency. <laughs> I I don't know if people need to come back to Jesus. I do agree that people need to maybe up the morality meter a bit. But mm-hmm. other than that. I'm not like conservative thinking that, you know, we should, WAP should be a crime. You know, I'm not one of those people. I feel like there's validity on both ends. There should be a balance. You know, Josh, your shirt looks, uh, from in this lighting, looks the same color as your skin. (laughs) Oh, yeah. For half a second, I was like, wait, she's shirtless? Well, yeah, I just got my nipples removed in the short time. That's why I asked for so much time. I don't want to get in trouble on Twitch, you know. Oh, that's true. This, this, is is hot like, tub stream. this is kind of like it's supposed to be tan but i think the lighting doesn't do it justice because it's like you guys remember colored. you guys remember when i used to have free. the red couch in my basement um i had a shirt mm. that was the exact same color as that couch so i'd <laughs> sit on it and i'm like snapchatting and then i'm just ahead <laughs> oh speaking of something yeah. over the break i did Upgrade on the oh shoot! Mm-hmm. I don't know if you yeah, guys upgrade, can see it. Oh, they definitely can't. But I got. They don't need you. Cha- oh wow! What is thing. that? That wow. looks like space age or something. That oh, no, you it's, do just, be it's just a barber chair. You do be sitting though. My room is on a slant, so most yeah. chairs have that skinny pole. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? And so yeah, it's sitting at an angle. No, I can actually write it. Kind of, it's sitting at an angle like this. So that oh, okay. it eventually snaps and breaks the chair. So I needed to get a barber chair with the long pole and yeah. gas pump system to, pole. to take I the pressure know. of being at an angle <laughs> and right, sitting just... on top of it. And Dude, it's working can... out pretty well so far. No sinking chair. No so the floor in your room has can we back up a minute? Yeah, like it's, it's a little slanted. Like right now, I have my mic Wait. on top of cardboard, so it doesn't slant. Because okay. like over time, my mic will rotate to the left, and sometimes it won't fall over. But it just got annoying. So like it's is, just over here. That is your like, home built on like mine subsidence? Because we have a lot of coal mines underneath town here. And I mean, probably some of the I wouldn't even buildings sink. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. We, we were. Sorry, well, sorry, Tim. What were you saying earlier? It's a cold said... town. Always a cold town. Am I right? But, but what's yo, a cold yo. town? Always a cold town. Get that's what the, you know. Cold off the say. boy in this boy town. Yo, but yo, did you say you had a gas-powered uh, pole or something? Well, that's what the guy who sold it to me said. So it's a barber chair has the gas-powered, like really thick, yeah. like you know, it's and it has, yeah, a, it has a little, it has a strong base. <laughs> Like yeah. that. So, like, so it doesn't matter if gravity is <laughs> sitting on a slant; it's yeah, not going to ever break or sink. Little combustion engine chair, yeah. Right, yeah. You know, it can go pretty high, but I would be completely out of frame yeah. if it went high. So this is actually the lowest it can go, but it's still the highest I've ever sat. Actually, That's what I like. I like to look down on my computer setup. I like, <laughs> I like to look down. Remember, like when your barber would have to start the chair up like a lawnmower? You know, you have to like pull. Oh, the thing. yeah, yeah. Pull the cord. What a '90s staple. That really takes me back. Only only kids in the 90s remember that. Yo, like what that. is that yeah. spiral thing? <laughs> that was that universal like red white uh spiral thing that outside of uh barber shops? Like that's the only yeah. store yeah, that yeah. uses that in candy shops are the only store that uses that kind of decoration. It if was I an see old one of those tiny thing. Um Yeah, but we right. still be using that. No, yeah, it was not meant like to a... represent like, because I think barbers used to also be dentists, something like that. Well, oh, yeah, it's true. Though. If mm-hmm. I see any brightly colored moving object, I immediately go straight to it, and I think that just an attention goes, getter. It's a good marketing ploy, and it gets I mean, me I'm, every time. I can't hate Even if I don't need a haircut, which I don't clearly don't now. So stop saying he needs. A well, haircut. I'll tell you, like fake news colorful signs and stuff like that like i'm driving i see a restaurant and yeah. it's got a big colorful sign or a mascot i'm like that place has got the best food surely surely obviously because this isn't a, this is a real establishment 
the the flashier and more and more better and more better looking you are the better you are i yeah, agree that's when I that and that takes us into today's topic what is fast, today's topic fast food huh fast food talk about eye catching and marketing it's actually crazy Excuse how me. much fast food there is there is a lot there's like, a lot. Don't you think we should probably agree on like because we're they're selling a lot. There's a lot of overlap too. You know, I know that's because there is. Of, well, uh, we'll discuss that uh, yeah. when we play yeah. some in our tiers. Yeah, similar sure. menus, a lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real though. Um, uh, some, yeah, more ubiquitous than others. Some maybe a little more regional, but yeah. I'll, I'll look at this list that we do have. I'm realizing that it definitely depends on where you at what you get mm -hmm. because i'm like what are half of these but uh we may not recognize some of these places we might not recognize some of these places right and we're reaching an international audience so if your local favorite is on there well sorry and also some you know, of these aren't fast food but we'll get into that later let me take a look wait really well this is my definition of fast food oh we'll, we'll talk i about think it. everyone has a Let's definition of fast food okay but, uh, yeah. i want to know yours my definition of fast food is like driveway really with seating optional, not yeah. seating preferred. So mm. like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So like people will be like, let's meet at Noodles and Company and sit in Noodles and Company. You're right. And, that, and not really take it on the go unless like coming home for dinner and want Noodles and Company. Whereas people will never, unless they're in high school or middle school, will say, hey, let's meet at McDonald's. Like if you guys are too adults over 22 and you are doing decent in life you probably shouldn't probably wouldn't want to meet at mcdonald's because you have the money to meet at news and company you know what i'm saying right so that's why i'm like i don't think that news and there's company different should be here there's different tiers cases. of cost and quality like i consider something a bit like a noodles and company or a steak and shake or a chipotle you know a, a mark above something like a wendy's a mcdonald's exactly. or a, certainly a jack-in-the-box mm-hmm all right, you want to pull this up and let's see the screen. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, because they have, like, they have like IHOP on here. Yeah. IHOP is definitely a preferred. restaurant. If you ask yeah, IHOP yeah. For at least you see, two like, hours. with my definition, fast food is not that fast if you. Because IHOP isn't, like, instant. At least it usually isn't. And if it no, is. No, no, you, you sit down. See it's, it? it's a. Let's yep. see. Okay. I'm up here. I'm, I'm looking at it. Okay, yeah, Quite I see the you guys Okay, but, but you we know gotta what? go into our personal three anyway. So I'm gonna start off with my personal yep. top three. I didn't you even make ahead. a bottom three, but I can make a bottom three to be honest, just by looking at this. So oh, my top go. three. Uh, it's so easy. Number one, and this is actually a recent favorite, right before the quarantine, because they're at Bangs, is Wendy's. It's the best mm. fast food place because if you, mm. it's not the best fast food place if you don't have the app. It's the best fast food place okay. if you have the app. Because the app yeah. actually is kind of crazy how many deals they just throw at you. Like, I don't know how many times really? I've gotten, like, deluxe burgers and a large fry for, like, five, six dollars. <laughs> like, and that's pretty, really, and with their size burgers, it's really good and worth it. Like, they have things like, like, all last March, they they had one dollar Dave single meal. So, get a Dave single, another hmm. Dave single, it's only five bucks. But so, like, wow. Wendy's number one. Because of that, if with right. the app. Number two is Panda Express. Just because mm, of the, yeah. the, consi yep. the consistency is here. The consistency and price point for me meet a very nice medium here. So, yeah, that's Panda I Express. Yeah. And then this one's a sleeper. I think it doesn't get enough credit because people are just like, oh, we don't think about getting a burger from here. But Dairy Queen's burgers are actually really good, and their fries. Yeah, they so are. They I are, put Dairy actually. Queen right there, but it's usually busy because all the kids are one ice cream. Wow, you know I'll what? be honest. I don't think I've ever had a burger from Dairy Queen. I always it get, like, slaps. the chicken. They're not bad. They're not bad. They're really? very good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're known for their ice cream, and their ice cream sure. is great, but no, the burgers are good. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? So oh. um, cheese oh, cheeseburgers. Yeah. Dairy, Dairy Queen. <laughs> so yeah, those are my top three. I guess I go to Dairy three. Queen. What were you saying? Oh, man, I, I go Queen. to Dairy Queen and I don't get dairy. I just realized. 
like yeah, yeah, maybe gonna, a, yeah. maybe not even an ice cream. I'm not gonna really? go to Dairy Queen for ice cream. I'm gonna go to Baskin Robbins for ice cream if I'm gonna have to get ice cream. Yeah. You like, guys don't like a blizzard like, though. A blizzard's pretty good. I'm not gonna turn it upside guy. down and like it's all yeah, it's a whole just sh- yeah. a big show. I'm so bitter about that that it's just, they just make a spectacle <laughs> out of it. It's ice cream. <laughs> Sorry, but it, no, but it's your top three. But it's um, yeah, but it's yeah. in your top three, so I should, I shouldn't say anything. To I, you. I mean, like, I no, I, I'm not you. defending its ice cream. I'm talking about its burgers. And the stuff. Burgers. Okay. I'm, I'm a grill guy it's when I go to Dairy Queen. I'm not there. For, I'm not there for the dairy produce. I'm how there do, for the dairy chopped. Let okay. me ask you this: How do they prepare their burgers? There is it a grilled? Is it a um, smash burger? Grilled. That's what I'm saying. Ooh. Don't give me the cow's milk. Give me the cow's meat. <laughs> Chop meat. that thing up, throw it on the grill. Mm. You can get milk at first for that kid who wants ice cream, but I don't want that. Give me the meat <laughs> when it's done making ice cream. And that's where <laughs> Dairy Queen comes in because they do treat that cow really well. And it probably isn't real meat, but it's fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, and for my bottom three, I would say, okay, I just saw it. All right, so my bottom three is really easy. Uh, Popeyes, because it's too greasy. Mm. Really? It's okay. too greasy, and what it's too spicy usually, and mm-hmm. even their sandwiches, I feel gypped every time I get it, because it's like $7 a sandwich, and it's so not good. Uh, <laughs> McDonald's, of course. Spicy. How about that? I mean, Ooh. Of I, course. I feel like, of course. let's be honest I feel like here. everybody that um, lives in America, they usually always love McDonald's as a kid, because it's something with our taste buds yeah. at McDonald's, it's just a good marriage. But as you get older, it's just like oh, yeah. you taste everything that's wrong with it after a while. And even yeah. I still, even it's being on my list, I still fall to the trap of okay, I'll just get a McDouble real quick. And I always regret it now because I can always <laughs> taste the filler. I can always taste the bloating. Yeah, I'm just like, oh man, yeah. I shouldn't have done this to myself. Uh, and here's uh, the thing with McDonald's. Oh, sorry. Go no, ahead. go ahead. No, no. Ron, I was just gonna say, here's the thing with McDonald's. Maybe we'll put it where we place it because. Mm-hmm. Everyone is like, oh, the special sauce, you know? And I will admit, I get a craving every once in a while for McDonald's breakfast, maybe an Egg McMuffin or something. It's nothing special, but the smell, something about it. But people were like, oh, it's the special sauce, you know, the stuff they put on the Big Mac. I grill burgers at home all the time. I love a cheeseburger. It's just Thousand Island dressing and American cheese. It's better. It's better. That's what I do when I make a Speaking on their breakfast... McDonald's used to be my yeah. favorite place for breakfast because of their um, bagel burgers. I mean, the bagel oh, sandwiches. Yeah. But they don't exist yeah. anymore. So, oh, they don't. Yeah, hmm. man. So Wendy's wins with the breakfast baconator. But, uh, Ooh, baconator. It's pretty good. Uh, and for my third, I guess this isn't fair because I usually don't go there. But I just put Arby's on there. Just because of the thought of Arby's, I'm always just like, no. I've always just thought no after Arby's brought up. And that's not fair. Yeah, I don't even eat not. there usually. And every time I have eaten there, it's not that bad. But I'm just like, nah. <laughs> it never sounds. I know what yeah. you mean. So those are my never that trash bad, never that good. It's just like <laughs> never. It just I don't know. It's just maybe it's the branding, like the name Arby's. Yeah, it's just the, Arby's. <laughs> I don't want to start with something that starts with R, like so rough, and trust them with my food. Well, it's supposed to be R B for roast beef, but then oh. it's. But they don't know how to spell clearly because that starts with an A and not an R. So automatic. well, they made it like a name. That, yeah, I say automatic dog. Well, I don't trust for... Arby's with my meal. I don't know Arby's. <laughs> just does not sound like a man or a woman that would wash their hands. So. Arby's. And that's your and that's your fault, Arby's. <laughs> Yeah, that's their that's fault. That's the culture you've raised. That's their fault. <laughs> so those are my top three and bottom three. All right, all Just right, Tim. Yeah, I like those. Um, Tim, yeah, what's up? Yeah, hey, hello. Oh, hey. oh, me? Uh, my turn? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, we'll go with my. What am I doing? Underrated first. So right hey. off the bat, definitely Panda Express. Hey. Yeah. A ton of food for not very much money, and. The fried rice is good. Like, you can get veggies if you want. It's not, like, the best Chinese, obviously. Like, go, if you're going to get, if you have the time, go get local Chinese or something. But if a quick Chinese fix is what you're after, you know, 
find your local Panda Express today. Not a sponsor. Um, <laughs> so next, I don't even know if it's on this tier list here, um, but uh, you know, I might get a little bit of flay. There it is. I see it. Um, I might get a little flack for this one. You know, you, you might you guys might have seen this one coming, but Panera Bread really is, well, you know, so underrated. Should be everywhere and. All right. Should, we're some of the lower their prices because the prices are the only thing that's bad about it. Well, my thing about so Panera have... Bread, that's another one that I like. Is it fast food? A lot of people, is it? It's one of those yeah. places that people say, let's meet at Panera Bread. And they meet yeah, let's go get a go bread to bowl spot and sit for down. lunch. I'd get a that's salad like... and soup. Yeah. That's right. And you sit and you go and you sit, right? You don't really like go. They have a drive through, but it was like only It reminds added. me of like a tastier Starbucks. So it's a nice place to sit in. I worked at a Panera Bread for about four years in high school. And what? I learned a lot. That's right. I know. I know it's, this is like big. This is like, for most I people. I don't even like know big. you for real. This is like, this is like character defining for, for myself on the podcast. Like, I, feel I think like we might have a conflict of interest here. Can we trust you to be impartial? I don't think, so. can I be honest? I don't think so. Because huh. I was in the back, I was in the freezer, and I, I got, was on the board. I got my fingers yeah. all over the food, and I've learned a lot. And let me tell you that <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. You know. We, so I, here's the thing: for, for I don't want to, I don't want to interrupt the show or anything. But for the sake oh, of no, authenticity, well, here's the thing: like, <laughs> for, don't. The sake of, the for the sake of being authentic and impartial, you know, you served on the board of Panera for four years. You said, you know, you well, were high up. Yeah. You know, you have a lot of stock in them. You have interest. I said and, I was the one who said bring back pizza. And what did they do? They brought it back. Well, here's the thing. So I think the viewers should know just that you're not coming from an impartial place here. That you stand to gain from us. Right. And, and when I'm, and, yeah, right. And what I'm saying is, no, that's not going to be the case. I'm going to let okay. you, the viewer, know that I, that I, this is my, <laughs> this is my pick. And if you have something to say, save it. <laughs> um, well, those everything bagels are pretty good. Yeah, but... they are. I mean, I mean, yeah, Panera do. bread. When I went to also a boarding my, school, yeah. they had a local Panera bread that just gave us their leftover bread on Tuesday nights. And I was mm -hmm. sick as heck. He said, "Oh man, a mad scramble for like the cheese, Ooh, like, trash bags full of like, this bread oh, yeah. that you don't want to waste." Good Danish. I used to get this good cheese Danish there. Mm. Yeah, but that also yeah. was my first bulk moment, I, I believe, as a young man, because I was like, "Wait, restaurants just have all this that they throw out?" And then yeah. they're like, "Yeah," I was like, "Then why don't why do we have a hunger problem?" Like if you right. like you could do exactly this that you're doing to these young boarding school kids that you could do to homeless kids you could do the same thing. Like you just give, it especially is if it's weird like, when you think about how much fast food we have and how much food they probably waste. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dang. Think about that. Wow. Like I mean, but even then, working at the restaurant because I've worked in the restaurant industry for a while. Uh, yeah. All the waste that is is brought up like ugly pizzas that. We were just like, oh, don't put that one in. And we ended up just throwing out or good. eating ourselves. I'm just like, right. we have so much ugly dough and ugly meat and things like that that we could just, you know, give to the homeless Give people. it a chance. Or Still tastes to, good. Uh, you know, impoverished families that can now take that home and cook a pizza themselves so they can eat something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Maybe that wouldn't be that profitable, though. So uh, continue on with nah. your list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry about that. So, um, um, right. Yeah, I'm bitter with Panera about ousting me from the board as well. So, uh, pick number three uh, is this going to be another like kind of maybe like a shocker to some people, but um, this is just like an underrated uh, for me is is Long John Silver's. Okay, I know. Oh, I know it's kind of a it's a yeah. strange one, but you gotta fit fish into your life <laughs> and somehow. Puppies. It's good for your heart. And their hush puppies are so good. There's not too much onion in all these stupid hush puppies that dig onion into there. I just want well, just a ball of bread. It's good you can get fish. You know, Lent just ended, for those of you who are practicing Catholic. Ah, as alaykum. Should have got the all right. filet of fish. <laughs> Should have gotten the fish. It's Friday. <laughs> Well, it's a little inside joke for yeah. you folks at home that you guys can't know. Is that going to affect your day, Dom? Is that going to affect your picks here today? 
that story? Well, not me, but I'll tell you what will affect my picks is that I have not had fast food in a really long time. Uh, years ago, I had to change my diet for health reasons, and no, it was not weight, as you can see. Um, <laughs> that would be inspiring if I was like 300 pounds, and now you I'm like a little... should rebrand that as it being weight. Sure. Now I'm a little Y'all like manlet. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I had to cut out gluten, and... That really limits your choices when it comes to fast food. So a lot of the stuff I grew up eating, and I, gosh, I gave up gluten around 2015. So it's it's been quite a while. And I didn't grow up eating a ton of fast food, but when we were in high school and early college, you're out with friends, you don't have a lot of money. These were good places to just pop in at. For you know, sure. I'm, with you guys, we sat yeah. at McDonald's plenty of times. But Good when you were in high school and then no more. Well, when you're in high school, you have a stomach of steel. Um, you exactly. know, we've talked before about our school lunches. I don't know how you just eat a heavy meal, uh, <laughs> get up at six in the morning, and then just and drink very little water throughout the day, and then you're just fine. I drink so much water now. Oh, I, yeah. I need it. Yeah, it's almost like, like I don't know what day it was, but yeah, like that flip, that switch flipped, and it's just like, fuck juice, fuck soda. Where's the water? Always. Yeah. Your body, yeah, you've got to start listening to it at a certain point. And I'm glad I did. But I'm not going to lie, I do miss uh, certain things. But what I miss most about being gluten free, it's not so much the food, it's the convenience. Where do am I going to go to get a quick meal? You know, all these places, everything is breaded or has bread. Yeah. Salads are all right. You know, go to Panera. But sometimes I want a little more than a salad. Maybe I want a little meat in there. That's why one of my number ones is Chipotle. I can go with Chipotle anytime. I can get a burrito bowl. Now I don't. Know if Chipotle has a drive-through though. It's a little bit. It's, one it's of a those. little bit like Josh said. Yeah, it's one of those like Noodles and Company. It's a little bit on the cusp. But I gotta say, it's kind of like a Subway. You know, you're on an assembly line. You make your thing. Uh, what I don't like about Chipotle is that if you have a big order and they're busy, they hate you. Because there's people waiting <laughs> behind you. The person is like in a rush. I had to get nine tacos from there one time. And I could tell the um, like the poor uh, girl working the, the thing. Yeah, I know. She gave me a look, like an internal screaming, and I apologized. I'm like, look, I got to feed a family. Give me all the tacos. I got to put food on the table. Hey. Here's the thing, though, man. I can destroy three of those tacos. I like the little tacos. But my go-to is a burrito bowl. Yeah. I love just a big bowl of rice and meat. And here's the thing. Look. Sometimes you get a better person. Like, sometimes someone's a little skimpy with the meat, but then every now and then you get a cool guy working there, and he's like, ah, gave you a lot of chicken. Pile it on. Yeah, exactly. He's like, ah, that's not extra. It's fine. So Chipotle, for convenience, really like that. And and it is good, you know. I agree. free. Well, yeah, yeah, a lot of it is, at least. Uh, you know, a lot of corn and all that. But I'll tell you what's not. But it does taste good. Is Chick Fil A? Mm. I know it's uh, oh, it's yeah. sometimes like it's a controversial one because people like well, to pit it against uh, Popeyes and KFC. People like to say they're anti-gay. Is what I was thinking. Why it's controversial? Here's the thing: they definitely. Well, that's what I like. Yeah, it's like what's <laughs> still, well, well, maybe what stance are you taking today? They Sorry, go don't ahead. Like go ahead. Sexuals. And the third thing is they don't like gay people. And the fourth thing is Chick Fil A <laughs> makes really good, really good chicken sandwiches. Way too high priced, way too little on the sandwich. Yep. People act like that pickle does anything. <laughs> we're, they just ripping, we're just ripping his pick no, apart. Chick fil A is on my, what is like, is number four or five on my hey, list, top, top, okay, top. Okay. But I, I, I know it, I know it's flaws. That's why it's four or five because, like, every time I'm like, yeah, Chick fil A, it's like the stars and the moons have to align for me to actually go through that drive through because I have to have the money, I have to have the taste for it, and I yeah, have to get yeah, over the yeah. fact of what I'm paying for. Because I then start thinking, like, it's just a chicken sandwich with pickle on it. That's why it's not my number one. But it's one. good. Here's the deal. It is good. Here's the thing. So Popeyes came out with their chicken sandwich, too, and people were like, finally, an alternative to Chick-fil-A's. But they're different. They're different. They're so different. Yeah, They are different, and I'm sure both are good. I've never Popeye's chicken sandwich because it came out after I was uh, gluten free, so I couldn't have it without getting sick. And I used to love 
You kind of missed out on the war, the big chicken sandwich. War. I did. Well, I, I, I followed it. I saw it. But <laughs> he followed I every second. Folks. <laughs> I was watching from the sidelines. Uh, you know, I mean, I, you know, were no you, comment were you on that. you scared anybody on? Your, your no. own pick? I didn't have a dog in the fight. Here's the thing. Sure. I just had Chick-fil-A, though. I just knew, you know, because that's what I used to get. <laughs> he before. just had a feeling, Good guys. Nuggets, good I mean, sauce. Like Josh said. A good hunch. A little on the expensive side, though. And that yeah, brings yeah. me to my, yeah, I still like it. A really good sweet tea, too, because it it's used to be. the best chicken option out of all three, KFC and, you know, Popeyes. Well, KFC. well because here in Illinois, KFC. we didn't have them for a long time, and it was a thing when we would drive down to Florida, I'd look yeah. forward to, because I'm like, oh, then we'll stop at the Chick-fil-A once we get past uh, Tennessee. And so that was nice. But, again, like you said, a little on the pricey side, and uh, I'm going to go a little local here. Uh, not local regional uh, we may not have had chick-fil-a for a long time. we always had steak and shake mm. uh, oh yeah steak and shake now oh, we would really only get it when we had coupons because steak and shake is a little more pricey than your average you know donald's lower tier fast food but i think you get better food oh yeah uh, steak and shake oh, yeah. is definitely not something i could eat anymore but i can still have the shakes and the fries and even though I, I can't have their burgers or patty melts anymore, which were really good, uh, they had great milkshakes, and they had the shoestring fries, these wimpy little tiny My fries. They're pretty you good. You grab them by the handful, and you just shove them in your mouth. Yeah. I, fries and a chocolate shake are a hard combo to beat. Uh, their burgers and their patty melts are greasy, but I don't know how to describe it. They feel like good greasy. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's supposed that to makes be that sense. greasy. It's like, not like yeah. dripping in grease like Popeyes. Yeah, it's like they drained it of the grease. It was filled, but then they drained it. Well, and it's funny because on this little list here, it's right next to Sonic, which is not as good. But Steak and Shake and Sonic were like the local high school hangouts. Yeah, I'd love to say. We like, where would we meet? We post like, up in Steak and Shakes. Well, exactly. Late, it was like certain late, late. kids, they had the West Side Sonic, and they'd be like, that's our place, and we're like Wabash Steak and Shake. Wabash Steak and Shake? <laughs> because it would be open late. It used to be open. I feel like all seven. the outgoing jocks and stuff went to Sonic, and then like the artsy kids that would make really funny intellectual That's jokes, it. and we needed a quiet space to do so. We'll go to steak <laughs> the cultured steak. place was Steak yeah, and Shake. Exactly. <laughs> it was indoors. You had to behave yourself. See, Sonic, the Sonic on yeah. Isles and White Oaks there, yeah, that was the that was yeah, the they would, they would just go crazy outdoors. Yeah. Exactly, and just like scream like some other group crew from another school shows up, and they're like, "Is and we that? Hiss and boo. Is that? Is that Brody Williams? Is that fucking Brody Williams, bro?" And Brody. I'm just like, "Bro, like it's a Brody. silhouette in a car at this moment. At least let the dude get outside <laughs> so you can see People if it's Brody Williams." To go to that one. Yeah, yeah, I was afraid. I was afraid. Not gonna I've been lie, there a couple honestly. of times, but every time it was just like weird. I mean, like it was cool, but every time it was like super, like what's it called? Like uh, what's that called? Degrassi, because like uh, you had Mister uh, uh, was it Mister Butler? Uh, you guys remember Mister yeah. Butler who hung out with Mister Scroll? Yep. Uh, he um, always was yeah. talking about some girl. I forgot what it was. Mrs. Miss Krug that went to our school that she they kept on and off dating and they kept like arguing all the Easy. time. So that's why I was like. Mr. Adams, I don't want to go to Sonic. <laughs> Mr. Adams. <laughs> these were our teachers. Um, <laughs> yes, these, nice were, these, were, these were adults with us as teenagers, yeah. so it's different. Shout out um, to my brain for remembering all those people's last names. Dude, I don't know why I thought Sonic would be a good pra- place to bring a date. Like, I thought, oh, you know, it'll be like a dinner and a show, right? Some, some drama will go down while we're eating and, you know. I, as many good memories as I have at Steak and Shake, I do have memories at Sonic's from those times we would hang out at Mrs. Uh, Mayette's oh, uh, yeah. apartment, <laughs> which was just down the corner. We were just so down the street, high, yeah. so yeah. we could just bumble on over and sit in the car. Yeah. and uh, <laughs> sit, sit in the car and, <laughs> and discuss and think about life. <laughs> and uh, philosophy. Lot, so I can't put Sonic as really remarkable for their foods because I think there's a, um, a factor there that affects that. But I, uh, uh, I, I have some, I've had a lot of good conversations. And they took away Sonic. half price burger Tuesdays and I'll never forgive them for that. 
I Last mean, time I went to Sonic was not a good experience, though. Yeah, Sonic Years ago. definitely, service-wise, has definitely plummeted since... Uh, yeah. yeah, they used to come out on skates, yeah. dude, and, and yeah. work right. out. Where's the skill anymore? Yeah, no, nah, there's no, there's no <laughs> flair. It's just like, order like yourself, over even. Like, spill a slushy 20 feet mirror. <laughs> so, well, that's what I would usually get. I would usually get a drink or a shake there, and it, it was no Great steak ice. and I was Great obsessed ice. with their breakfast menu, to be honest. I, I can't lie. Oh, I, I never to, got that. I mean, I love their toasters, but it's too much now. It's just like bulk me down. Like, if I eat one of those now, it's probably my meal for the whole day. You know what I, I specifically remember? And again, the conversation we had on the candy episode. I remember being with a certain um, mutual friend we shared. Uh, one of many nights we were in the Sonic uh, drive through and this friend wanted one of their, not blizzards, but it was like a blizzard that thing they have. It's like a mixer or something they call it. Right. And he wanted the Reese's Pieces one. And I got a little uh, bent out of shape about that, the way he said <laughs> Reese's. I was going to say, are you going to repeat that? Are you going to repeat yeah, that? I mean, like, anybody that thinks a name with an apostrophe, would be Reese's? Like, why would... It's well, it's supposed to rhyme with pieces. Reese's. Pieces. Yeah, pieces. Like... What is people, a pieces? People will, yeah, yeah, people will mess up pieces and be pieces. Ugh. <laughs> well, me, I... me and that same friend had a wild experience in the McDonald's, too, that you guys know the story. Oh, yeah. Is that the, the <laughs> Mr. Filet-O-Fish? Mr. filet fish It was Lent. It was Lent. It was... Oh, my gosh. Dude, that was well, almost 10 years. That was almost... That was almost exactly a decade ago. Wow. That's oh crazy. God. Time is crazy. Time wow. is crazy. Wow, too. wow. You guys still so, need to pick your trash picks. Well, Tim, who do you, what do you hate? I hate a lot of things. Um, you know, <laughs> we're going to keep it to restaurants, and uh, that still might be too much, but uh, I'm happy to I'm happy to shove down McDonald's today. Yeah. I think that one's pretty obvious. It's way too overhyped and it's not it's not good. It's just cheap and convenient. And that's the only reason they're staying afloat. Let me tell you another yeah, one. They're everywhere. Like, Subway can eat a dick. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, oh yeah, Subway can eat a whole foot long, dude, cuz I've had uh, my fill of it as well. You know, <laughs> the story a little too convenient, right? Because the story with me and Dom especially goes like this, okay? The yeah. only option we had early in college was Subway. The one restaurant. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> me and Tim like, have I so much Subway together. So much. Like almost every day, dude. And yeah. it's just, it, it got so old. It's like we're just stuck Same with thing. It. Same thing. Just... We were. There'd be some days we'd be like, you know what? I'm going to mix it up. We're going to get a different sandwich. We'd ask yeah. each other, how is it? And we're like... It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> never, it's never fine. bad. So never, yeah, it was never it's bad. Just, it's just mediocre. Well, because because remember, then they shut down the catering thing they only had for a while. So yeah, it was just the subway. And remember, subway for a while. That one was hey, we need personal pizzas, and they weren't even good. But you and I were so desperate for something different. Because <laughs> here's the thing. We had to do there it. There were there were some fast food places near the school, but they weren't so close that you could walk. Like mm, you still yeah. had to walk out to the parking lot, out to the car. You had to leave campus. Exactly, and your you class know? is in five, yeah. to, you know, thirty minutes from now. <laughs> right. You don't have time. Right. Yeah. Hard so way. every day, so it was like, all right, let's here we're getting a little personal pizza. How is it? Not good, but it's not a sandwich. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they really did think they had some going on with the little flatizes. I have a little story about that. Um, won't take much time. I um, tell us a very uncomfortable story. Actually, it's not a story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I can't. I can't tell any of the details. But I remember um, I was I was going to um, sit down lunch with an acquaintance and her boyfriend, and I come back, and this other girl that I, I kind of knew that um, it was kind of a friend of a friend came to the table. She didn't know these two as much, but she knew me. And she was crying about something very upset. And I had my little personal pizza I got from Subway. And she's crying about a very um, traumatic thing. It kind of blindsided me out of nowhere. And I'm sitting here 
stupid kitty pizza. It was getting cold and uh, uh, nothing inherently funny about the situation other than the fact that it's hard to have someone tell you about a, such a horrible thing when you have your little um, your little first grader cheese pizza that's about this big and you're trying to hold it in your hand. Gosh, that's, that's some real... That's really heavy. So we only get 30 minutes for lunch and I really got... I finish. know, and, and, and I was rushed for lunch, so I'm eating a tiny little baby yeah, It's like, baby are, pizza. am I eating or am I actually use, using this to pick my teeth? Like, <laughs> Yeah, that thin. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, like you got something like Hotel Rwanda or like Schindler's yeah. List on TV and you're like, oh, my bagel bites. <laughs> That's crazy. You just eat a little slower and more cautious. Yeah, yeah, you're like, man. Yeah, like you're about to get sucked into that it. reality if you eat too fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little lunchable. So I felt like you're I was eating lunch. Come here. My <laughs> you, feel, you feel like you're attracting you attention to yourself. Tragedy. Cause it's, well, it's and I was the only one eating. Size oh, the only one again. Eating. right. Nobody else. I hate eating in front of people when nobody else has food. I will not so do that. The, the point I'm bringing this up is that now every time I see one of those little personal pizzas, I think of that. Really? <laughs> because I'm like, oh, it's getting cold. I better <laughs> eat my pizza. Is anybody, you, is anybody gonna say anything to me here? Tim, Tim, do you remember the one kid who he would only get food from the vending machine? Hmm. I don't want to say who it was, but um, a certain guy. Is this in guy. college or high school? Because I feel like this is, I don't. This was college. This no, was I early college. He didn't always sit with us, but sometimes he would just come up with, and he'd be like, hey, guys, I have my meal today, and it's just stuff from the vending machine, and it would be mostly candy, and you and I would, like, be concerned. Like, yeah, I'd like, that's like, that. we'd be like, well, he's not eating real food. <laughs> like, what, what, what happens to him? Yeah, like, <laughs> vending machine <laughs> food is pretty home? much, like, human dog food sometimes. Yeah. sometimes even at 18, 19, even at 18 and 19, as resilient you, as your gut is, you still understand, like, you need real food. Yeah. Right. Like, do you guys remember Snowball yeah. at SHG? Yeah, I remember, yeah. For sure. Unfortunately. By the end of every Snowball, I would be like, I need real food. I don't want candy. I don't want soda. I don't want pizza. I need, yeah, like, Yeah, I don't need another Slim fiber. Jim, dude. I need actual... Yeah. Food. <laughs> I'm empty. I'm empty. You're, you're like, so I, I need give me something. donuts in the morning. Give me a I'm, I'm a shell of myself. I need something that was alive and died. I need something grown in a garden. <laughs> I need something that God made to make and me whole again. I need to not be forced to say I'm alive, awake, alert, and enthusiastic before I get <sighs> these things either. I don't want something that comes in a wrapper. Low key, that kind of environment is a little bit, little bit internal culty. camp. Culty. Well, I mean, I like, it's, 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 cult, camp. it's culty. It's culty. I would say that Kairos is, was a lot more culty than Snowball. So Snowball sure. was just like, locked down, bring all your survival gear at the start, and that's it. You can't leave. You're always chaperoned. You make up these fi these stories with the other people yeah, that are like dude. interned with you to make it seem like it's fun. And you're always just like, you know, if people have anything like Snowball, imagine like Dare Camp, like a Dare Weekend, yeah. like drug free. But what re yeah. really the prize to Snowball was there's this big dance thing, and everybody wanted to get grinded on because we're all horny teenagers, to be honest. Exactly, so, we're all like, wearing like sweatpants, and yeah. it was like not chaperoned the way it, like a proper dance was. Yeah, they would be like chaperoned mm -hmm. everything, but at that point they're just like, let the butts fly. Do whatever well, you want and with the your social barriers reason. were a little down because so everyone, like, everyone had just been like sobbing earlier, um, so yeah. everyone's vulnerable. And two, like it's not as clicky because like everyone's had to bond with their group so everyone pretends to all be friends with each other it's like yeah i'll dance with you she's like yeah normally i don't even look at you so that's why people what did the this. hell it's snowball but that's yeah. why we put up with it but other than that part a lot of it was like you have to be here like there was a point where we had like these talk rooms and you mm -hmm. had to be in there for like an hour or an hour and a half to talk about a subject and you would get done talking about the subject within like 10 minutes and so now you're just sitting in there for another 50 minutes on the ground 
because there's nothing comfortable in there because it's a classroom. Right, so they move all the desks. Yeah, yeah, so you're sitting yeah. on the floor. So you'd be sitting, yeah, And you're just, like, talking to the one person that you might know in there. God forbid you didn't have a friend in there. I never had that experience. I at least had one person I, was I, like, yeah, I, I knew how to talk to name. every time. So I remember uh, it's basically like a forced reenactment of The Breakfast Club, for those yeah. who don't know what Snowball's like. Yeah. Like, you're supposed to sit around, bond a little bit, things get a little real at one point tears might be shed um some trauma talked about right like some like 17 year old like future vine star is like your group leader mm-hmm. him and like from um, cheerleader and they're like oh that's, so that's right. really real man thank you for sharing that with us um and they just like got done dressing up like the teletubbies for the last intro <laughs> event yeah, everyone's <laughs> dressing like yeah like their comfy rave clothes Dude, exactly we're really kitty chant but let's get serious yeah. Like, okay, guys, we got to do a skit. We got to do my skit. Uh, junior year was really good. Our yeah. skit senior year sucked. Yeah, big, big time. And the Emmy goes to. And the Emmy goes. All right. But they had different tiers, right? Of like leadership. Super culty. Yeah. So, and then also, if you cared, a lot of people didn't get picked to be like one of the leaders, and that would like mess up their whole snowball experience. And that's all they tell tell people about. They're like, "Oh, that's right." And they yeah, right. They'd be like, "I'm time. a senior, and I've been doing this since freshman year. Like, I definitely and deserve I it more than so and so, who's only started doing this last year." And I'm just like, "Yo, who cares?" <laughs> For real though, <laughs> like you want to do more stuff. You want to like wake up at air. five and four in the morning? We gotta share some snowball stories off air sometime. Oh yeah, for true. Yeah, we got. I don't remember how we got into this topic. Uh, we were talking about lack of food. Lack, lack of, of food. There we go. That was and happy then food. it reminded me of my trauma of the internment camp with a grind session. <laughs> yeah, camp yeah, with, with that. <laughs> um, well, so, okay, I'll tell you one. I, I had mostly bad experiences with. It's one a lot of people shit on, but I get why Denny's. Um, Denny's oh, is Denny's has its status because it is open all the time. It's the flop house. Uh, too greasy. I had an omelet there uh, when I was 16. It was August of 2011 was the last time I had an omelet there with cheese. Like, I like a little cheese. I love a good omelet. They destroyed this thing with cheese. It was so greasy. It gave me an upset tummy. I had to leave my girlfriend's time and go. You had to leave your girlfriend? You cut off. I did. (laughs) You made me break up with her. (laughs) It sounded like that's what she said. I said, nothing nothing you did wrong, I said, but it was so traumatic that, you know, it's like like, like when couples, like when they lose a kid, you know, and they're like, we can't stay married because the trauma is too heavy. I was like. Yeah, it's exactly like that. I said this breakfast was so disappointing. Now you disappoint me. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, Denny's no, is another one that's like it's just for high school, and then you realize like <laughs> yep. never. Go it makes me sick now, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I couldn't do it. Uh, another one I don't like. Uh, pull up here. I don't know. Hated ones. Um, there was one. Well, Taco Bell could be inconsistent. I'll tell you about Taco Bell. Sometimes Taco Bell would be your friend, other times not your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. And again, right. Taco Bell. Right. It, bringing up Denny's earlier, again, Denny's the same type of restaurant as other. It's not what comes to mind when I think classic fast food, but if I thought of the better version of Denny's, I'd stop. That's right here. They both have like dessert for breakfast. It's like, oh, try our. Red velvet chocolate cake pancakes with frosting. And cinnamon dippers and on the side with icing. <laughs> with more icing. Filled with whipped cream. Right. Here's some fried Twinkies. With and a some side of orange juice. Juices on the top. Here's a plate of syrup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just the syrup. Try our Canadian it's special. Hot. Plate of syrup. Oh god. It's just a plate of syrup. You just get a spoon and you're just eating it. Ugh. <laughs> Do you want whipped cream on that? Jesus. So Have you guys ever done that? Just drink a bunch of syrup straight? Yeah. I, had to, I had to just. No, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I had to see what it was like. I had to see what it was like. It's How bad. old were you? 
Um, I was 27 years old. <laughs> 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 I was a kid. I was a kid. I was a kid. <laughs> Oh, that, that's a that's a that's a clippable for the uh, to promote the show with. That's a that's a that's a little gem oh, of life right uh, there. I don't want that on TikTok for sure. For the Gen I don't isolate that because uh, that was like me as a kid. I had a thing with um, I liked the little like lime and lemon juices, like you know, like the kind you'd get at the grocery store and they look like a little lemon or a lime. Oh yeah, as a little yeah, kid. Yeah. I had a real tolerance for sour stuff as a little kid. So I would just like see how much I could drink of it. Like oh, the nice. pure stuff. Damn. Yeah. I mean, just pure acid in the stomach. Right, was yeah. yeah. And, uh, it probably like just made you pucker. No, well, exactly. Really you know, sour, when you're like seven years old, you're like, yeah, let me drink like a cup of. You're just drinking it like a Sprite? Well, no, I would be like, ah, 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 like, cause oh my god, the bottle, so I just squeeze it into my mouth, and then I'm like seven, and I do a cartwheel. <laughs> no, <laughs> like dude. I'm fine. Right, that it was just fine. Gave you energy. It's like a, a it's my like best life. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, my thing was those freeze pops. You're supposed to let them freeze. I used to not want to. I used to just drink them. Ooh. Oh, exactly yeah. what you mean the, the, yeah. the tube ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. low key. The best part of it is that towards the end, to me, when towards the melts. end when it's melty and it's slushy, like and stuff when it's frozen out. solid. So, yep. like I'd be like, you only need to keep them there for like maybe an hour, then you can start eating them, right? So, <laughs> you guys oh, still yeah. have one more on your trash picks, though. Oh yeah, each, each, yeah. You guys only pick two mm, trash. Jesus, picks. I know okay. it's tough, but we must um, do it. God, I'm trying to think of another one I had a bad. We got Dennis, uh, Taco Bell, Dom, and you have McDonald's and Subway so far. Uh, yeah, I've had good experiences with Taco Bell, but I've had enough bad ones to scare me off. I hear you. Uh, I don't go there anymore. T- you know what? I might have to go with Subway. T- I hear you. It's, just, yeah, it's really bad, isn't I it? I might have to share that. Well, I don't think it's terrible. Like, it's fine if I'm in a jam. It's just it's but, so unremarkable. It's so mediocre that it's, it's so beige. Subway you should know? be called it's, Subway Too it, Much Bread. The they don't beige have of rest. You're right. It is mostly bread. Yeah. And it's not like yeah. the great bread. Yeah. It's really like local. Because, so like, good. Jimmy John's, way better sandwiches. I haven't had Jersey yep. Mike's, but I bet it's better. It's pretty good. Yeah, they local got good places. Yeah. Quiznos, I haven't had in ages, but I, I think Quiznos was all right, from what I recall. I never I had know. Quiznos. Quiznos around. What happened? Oh, okay. Quiznos? Okay, I have another him. one. Oh. I have another one I can't eat. All right. <laughs> now, some people love this one. Now, you know how I said, like, even though it's probably too much for me now, I like the greasy steak and shake. White Castle is like, hey, what if it was just greasy, but also not it's that not. good? And small. Yeah, oh, and the little things. White Castle would make, yeah. Even as a kid, it made, uh, Kind of, I would have picked that, but I gotta pick something different than you here. Let's um Yeah, I avoided White Castle. Always. You know what? You know who I'm gonna go with? I, I know mm-hmm. look, I know that it's been said, but it's it's gotta be Arby's. It's just yeah, it's I just mean, much. I mean yeah. I don't even like roast beef. There's a you know com- yeah. the roast beef is fine, but I'll get it at the deli. You know? Haters to the left, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time I though, every time I get a deli sandwich or, or or about to buy a deli sandwich, unless it's like Head West or a sub shop, if it's something like Arby's, I always feel like mm, I could take the six dollars and invest in buying the actual deli meat and the and That's the burger I mean. buns, and then I can have nine That's of like these sandwiches rather than just the one. Yeah, Arby's feels like yeah, exactly. You're going to a restaurant to get sandwiches you would make it. Exactly. That's what it feels like, yeah. It's like, I no, like, like some good sandwiches at home. Yeah, for yeah. real. Now, yeah. Once you get some older the and you start, you know, getting more creative, I see why the oh, typical yeah. sandwich for a man is, I mean, the typical meal for a man is a sandwich. Yeah, what's your favorite, uh, what's your go-to sandwiches at home? Uh, I'm a peanut just, butter like, and jelly. ham and cheese type of dude, to be honest. But if Ooh, I, I love ham and cheese. I, always throw, I love like, a peanut butter and jelly, like, too. Yeah, mm. PBJ yeah. ain't bad for at all. I, I honestly, I, yeah, I try to stay away from pork, you guys. I try not to eat too much pork. I don't know what it is. Like, of course, I'll eat beef and stuff. But it's just, you know, I grew up yeah. picky and everything. And I just hear some that it's, not, you know, try not to eat too much of it. I stay away from pork if I can. So any yeah. place, pot bellies out. 
um, Moe's Southwestern Grill probably has a pork dish out. Out. The whole restaurant or just Oh, wait, are we dish? tearing right or, now? Um, oh, we probably know, should get to I that. Mean, we can't, well, I'll, I'll, so it seems like you guys are like calling out the list. So I'm like, we can, we can put these together. So let's, uh, I'm let's doing tear this some up. Initial call here, yeah. So um, we all like, there's two picks for Panda. So Panda should go in the top. Yeah, so. Panda's good. I haven't had it in a long time, but yeah, I like um, Chinese. I like these names. Let's get yeah, some. Yeah, our top more, tier more here, our S tier would be almost fine dining. Almost yeah. uh, a tier is let's get some. B is can't go wrong. C is sure. sure. D is what else is there. Yeah, like F is like don't have something else. Exactly. Like it was. A, could be double. Well, wait. Tier, should we yeah. should we have though? Like I never had it because there's a lot of these. Or maybe we'll just won't bother with the never had. Well, with the other never had, we can just leave them in the the. Uh, yeah, because there's a lot here that just is not make... in our area. Yeah, like right. what is this thing? This has been like really caught Bumpy. my attention. Jolly Lee, Be- Jolly Lee, Be- Jolly it's like Bees. A place, but yeah, I've, I've never. Yeah, heard but of somewhere it. where is that based? Yeah, Jolly. It's, oh, it's um, it's like Indonesian or or some. Uh, uh, Southeast Asian. Um, oh, food, uh, but origins. yeah, but they're they're popular in like the West Coast, I think. We'll just Never have Jolly Bees and in, in company yeah. in the weird tier. So, <laughs> Panda Express. Well, they got a couple in Chicago, but not a lot. Yeah. Uh, we have Lons on mm-hmm. Silver going up there too. Sure, we can debate. Uh, just, Is it let's get some or some fine? I, let's get some because I don't like some. Fish. Yeah, just a little Sorry. lower. Let's get okay. some. Okay, so we got that out the hey, way. So that has me thinking of A&W, because A&W and Long John are always a place. Yeah. But here's my thing with A&W. All I really know are their soda. Like, the, the root beer and cream soda is really good. Yeah, my thing is, A&W's burgers are just burgers. They're nothing that's too special, and the price point reminds me of, I think, it's up there with, like, Culver's and that. Like, a specialty huh. burger place. So I'm just like, because right. okay. I've been there in high I'm school sure. a couple of times, and people are like, I think it's pretty good. I really oh, okay. like it, actually. Okay. And, and they give you a sesame seed bun as well. Well, since yeah, well, there was one not far from where you lived. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we'll, keep, we'll just keep I'm them attached. Uh, where's My Panera? Dad. Okay, yeah, keep them. We won't separate them. Yeah, just like their marketing and branding, we'll yeah, just keep them yeah. like that. And then Panera, obviously, I would say almost, almost fine, fine dining because you can sit down. It has that vibe mm-hmm. about it. It's almost fine. You can take dining. a date to Panera, and not Chipotle feel like as well. Best. Yeah, Chipotle is another one where like you could take. Yep. It's date acceptable. Panera, yeah, Panda kind of is minute. too low key. Yeah, no, you can sit down and yeah. yeah, exactly. It's a little, it's a little classier than your average. You know, yeah, you take a. But not my first date. I always oh. take like. States Burger King working. is pretty disappointing. Yeah, we'll get to that. But, yeah, Burger uh, yeah. King is bad. Chick Fil A is where it is. I yeah, Burger King. Well, Burger that liquid King. smoke they use on the burgers. Don't like it. It's overpowering. Their yeah. chicken sandwiches aren't very good. They're not. They're not. Yeah, I had one years ago. It was very disappointing. Oh, steak they got and a new one. Steak and Shake is let's. Well, this is mm. a big debate on where it should yeah. fall. Yeah. I put it in the top, top, but you know that's. Yeah, me. I, I'd agree because yeah. because the fries. Yeah, because the fries win me over. Oh, but also the shake. I oh, mean, oh, they had a Frisco melt yeah, there that was better than man. anywhere else, and also good memories. Good memories there. This is our this opinion. Is all, this is, yeah, don't get too upset. Um, don't forget that. Where's Dairy Queen? And blonde. Uh, but, 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 there it is in the middle uh, under Burger King. Um, right. Oh. Yeah. Between no, no that's Quizlet. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Oof. I think it was yeah. in the let's get let's some get category, some. you know. I agree. I like I, I get excited. When, you know, Haven't had much thing. of it, but every time I have it, it's good. There were, there's my girl. I would personally put no, almost fine dude. dining because I love Wendy's, but I understand it's not almost fine it's dining. Really yeah. high quality, so. It's high quality. Let's get some. But I yeah. love Wendy's. I think it's so good. Those square patties. Can't go wrong with the square patties. Okay, so now let's hottest place mascot. all the trash. Is, yeah, the trash mascot person. for sure. Uh, okay, Sexy. so we got McDonald's should be just trash, I think. Like dog food, if you ask me. I wouldn't put dog food for McDonald's, but I'd put it pretty. I would put it in the second. Like play, what else is there? Yeah. Is the thing, if I have to get McDonald's, like the fries are pretty good. I, okay. Honestly. Yeah, the fries that... do have cocaine on them, so... That's what I mean. The yeah. fries are like a drug, so you can't. Yeah. Oh, like. I hear that. Oh, let's see. Arby's. Hey. 
Uh, Arby's yeah. is dog food. I think it's dog yeah. food, to be honest. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad you agree. Not, yeah, not really. No, yeah. Not maybe. feeling Arby's. Now, what yeah. do you guys think about Subway? Because I'm pretty neutral on Subway, but you guys have more feelings. I'd about say what else is there? I, I wouldn't say there. dog food, but I'd say what that's literally was our problem. What else is there? Exactly. Yeah, and there was nothing else to be found. Yeah, not. It wasn't disgusting. It never made me sick. It was just. The yeah. thing is, we could always bring it a lunch. We could have honestly said no to it, but because it was yeah. just okay, then yeah, we I would go that. there. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Taco Bell. Yeah. Uh, Here's the thing. I've had okay experiences with Taco Bell, but you know, everyone knows the joke with Taco Bell. Like it can, mm-hmm. it can mess you up. I don't know. What do you? How do you guys feel about Taco? Bell? Um, I, I mean, gotta say. I don't. I don't care about. Talk about too much. Like I'm not too bad about it. I feel like it's price point. Like I feel like yeah, it's overhyped. I feel like if it was priced more like McDonald's prices, it'd be a better place. Like the quesadillas are like four dollars. I'm just like, eh. From what those quesadillas are, they should be like two thirty or three dollars, dude. Like not four. I know Taco Gringo was kind of like used to be my go-to for like trashy Mexican food. Yeah. But you know what? We could put maybe it in in, like else is there because I've had like the quesadillas were fine. Uh, we did have that fun uh, memory when we were in the Taco Bell drive-thru years ago. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good time. I'll leave that one to you guys. Philosophy so. then. Yeah, unfortunately Tim was not there, but that's okay. It was uh, You didn't miss out on much. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, uh, what's it called? A Harold and Kumar moment. It was everything. <laughs> that moment was everything. That moment was everything. <laughs> yeah, and you weren't there. Good. That's why it was everything. Good. All right. Good. Popeyes. Popeyes. What do you uh, think? I, I haven't had Popeyes. Eating my mic. I would say what else is there? Just because, like, it's not dog oh, food. Wow. It is good, but I'm just not a big fried chicken person, first of all, and it's not the highest quality fried chicken, second of all. It right. is priced you know, pretty high. You know, I don't know if you guys have been, had spent much time down south, but they have a lot of Publix and stuff in Florida and Georgia, and they would have really good fried chicken. Like, just as the store brand there. And uh, that's how usually how I would eat fried chicken back when I could have it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Uh, Burger King, I, I'd say. I don't like Burger King. Yeah. I, I say it depends where you go. Because that's I've true. had some yeah, really good Burger while. King on, like, road trips. Where I'm just like, oh, wow, really? this is Burger King, huh? <laughs> like, I thought this was, you know, like, around here it's not that good. The mustard's too strong. And stuff like they that. They give you a little crown. Yeah, but yeah, that's what my woman went right over. They crowned me. No, but this is like it restaurant. tastes like I see what they see by like Charl Boiled or whatever. Like, it tastes like it's off the grill in some uh, parts of the country. Just yeah, not where they we're do at. the liquid smoke stuff right now. I, yeah, I love it. so I love the charcoal grill a burger. Love the grill. Yeah, I love that taste. Can't beat it. You- Okay, so we got Denny's, which I think should be dog food because it's never. Uh, okay. I mean, I mean, I personally, all, every meal I had at Denny's has either been bad or just okay. Like it's never been yeah. like, oh, Same. that was that was so good. Good yeah. pick. Because that's stuff that'll make you sick, but then at least while you're eating it, you'll be uh, like. But then that's just like I'm feeling bad after a mediocre meal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we got White Castle coming up. Oh, yeah. I can't do White Castle. Same. Can't do it. Same dog thing, dog food. food. Same thing. I, for me, yeah, I can't. I Even that. before, yeah. My I just don't have too do much, like, I know a lot of people like White Castle, and when I've had yeah. White Castle, it hasn't been too bad, but I would say it's another thing. It's like, I've only had White Castle because some person bought, like, a box of, like, 20 or 25 sliders. Sliders, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, it's great party food, but if you decide after work, let me stop by White Castle to get this for dinner or something like that. I'm like, dude, you're probably single. You probably you only live in a gaming chair. and you, You're you probably sad. Know. Well, sad. speaking speaking of struggle foods, what do you guys feel about Jack in the Box? I like Jack in the Box. When I was in St. Louis, I liked it. I would... Say, I haven't had it since I was a kid. I I would say sh- it should be in the sure category. Okay. I've never had a bad meal. I would but, do sure. Yeah. yeah. They have this taco special where you can get like tacos that are better than Taco Bell, surprisingly enough. Surprisingly enough like two it. soft shell tacos for like 99 cents. So it's oh, definitely okay. a hack if you're like, you know, having a really fun night. 
out on the town yeah. and stop by Jack in the Box. That's always like kind five dollars. They're kind of self aware about that. They're like, look, our clientele are drunk and high. Yeah, they know. Let's make it cheap. Yeah, exactly. They know exactly who they serve, and that's and that's the thing. Know who you are, yeah, Arby's. Man. Know who you yeah. are, Popeyes, and settle that <laughs> price point. Um, well, that's the thing. Every college should have a Jack in the Box near campus. Yeah, <laughs> Bernie. Jack, Jack should be like the universal like college student mascot. Right, a jack in the box at every college. Forget the debt. Forget the debt. A jack in the box. Now, Papa John's to me is very interesting because I used to not like Papa John's. Disgrace, the the, the disgraced man. Their recent branding since dude has left. I don't know what they did. The (laughs) Jack is better. The Shack now. Oh, okay. Well, the no is better. That stuffed crust is good. So I'm almost like garlic sauce. Go wrong. Uh, category yeah, here's the thing. For them. People used to trash Papa John's, but it was our pizza day pizza back in grade school. Mm. And man, I loved it with that like the crust. You dip it in the butter sauce or the the garlic butter, whatever. Yeah, I mean it's basically it's mostly butter. No, but uh, I like I like Papa John's. Butter, no, it used to be like because yeah. I don't know the toppings. Good. Some of the toppings like the pepperoni or not, it wasn't good. And I used to feel like there's too much sauce. Yeah. Versus the cheese ratio. And stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But recently, all that's not been the case. I feel like Domino's. No, Domino's, I think, is better. Domino's is one of the few places now that does make gluten free pizzas. So if I am in a jam, pizza on the go, I can rely on Domino's. It can be a little hit or miss. You know, it's fast food pizza still. But yeah. I would say, can't go wrong or sure. I think it's as good as Papa John's, definitely. I think it's definitely. For me, it was really big dorm food. Like, I remember getting a lot yeah. of, like, when they had the five for five deals, I don't know how many, like, kids scrambled at my boarding school, like, you got $5? Me and this other guy are trying to get the five for five deal or whatever. And then they always oh, slap. Yeah. So it always reminds me of dormitory, like, college and that boarding mm-hmm. school life. But I don't what usually get me... it too much now. But it what wasn't makes bad me when I did that. What makes me think of that is uh, Little Caesars, because that mm. was like the big, yeah, cheap pizza. I think that's down there. Yeah. I there, I went through a period where I ate a lot of Caesars, and then suddenly I couldn't anymore. So I put it in like, sure, yeah, because I liked it for a while. But then I got to a point just one day where I like, I don't know, I just did not want it anymore. Yeah, there was yeah. one time where like we went there, me and Mr. Schumacher, because... Uh, mm. He had, you know, he had that crush on Miss Clark, and she worked there. And so there's yeah. a time, uh, there's a period where we always were going there. To yeah, get we would get it a lot together. Yeah. 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 Well, and it that's was when nearby. I kind of liked yeah. it. But outside of that, like, I like their pizza bread mm-hmm. that yeah. you have to call in for. But that's the thing. It's like, if I got to call in and wait, I'm like, I want, if I'm going to call in and wait for something, I usually want better something. Yeah. Well, but then they had their $5 hot and ready. $5 hot and ready. Was that was yeah. what we get. Yeah, that's quick, what we yeah. Did. yeah, but I don't really like that to be honest. I, it's fine. It does the it, bare minimum for felt. pizza. So yes, yeah. exactly. That's why. Yeah, I put it above. Now Sonic, uh, Sonic. Let's see. Sonic sure. might be a yeah. sure. Maybe use at one point could have been a can't go wrong. Yeah, at one yeah. point definitely. But now it's definitely falling down with the little Caesars and Jack in the Boxes in them. Mm-hmm. It's uh, just the better options out there. Let's see. Take over. Uh, KFC. I never was a KFC. huge fan of KFC. I like their double sandwich, ages. but ever since they got rid of it, it's like, why would I even go there now? Yeah, Which well, sandwich? The chicken little. Yeah, Which I mean one? they still have the chicken. No, they do have a delicious sandwich. This mm. would be so good. Oh. They still have the chicken littles, but I don't know why they got rid of the delicious. It was like their signature sandwich to compete with, like you know the. Whoppers and Baconators and stuff, and then they're like, "No, right. let's just get rid of it because we're not a sandwich place, we're a chicken <laughs> place." I'm like, "That sandwich was actually really good." They, I feel like they've struggled being on chicken only. They've definitely like struggled to keep up. Yeah, and their clientele. There's a lot you can do though. That good, yeah. Pretty good chicken. Now Jimmy John's. Mm-hmm. It depends on the sandwich you get, but I would yeah. put maybe like Shore. But it's yeah. not the best sandwich place. They they have the same problem Subway has, if you ask me. If you get one of the $5 sandwiches, it's like so much bread compared to meat. And Short for Jimothy Jonathan. 
<laughs> yeah, a little known <laughs> fact. So. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. A real guy, James yeah, Jimothy Jonathan. Jonathan. He, um, yeah. Let's go to James Jonathan's. The third. Okay. Very, very problematic guy. What do you guys think about Culver's? I feel like it's pretty expensive. Love Culver's. Um, expensive, but they, they do taste good. I uh, haven't had it in long. Big Midwest. Um, Custard. Yeah, also staple. Um, so I put, yeah, like, let's get some. Can't go wrong. That's I'd go. I go. Let's get. Yeah, because I think it's, it's good. Good. yeah. Yeah. So, uh, checkers is rallies. If anyone's confused yeah. on that, checkers is yeah. rallies. Regional. It's same with like the Carl's Jr. Hardee's thing. Here they're called Hardee's. It's um, got to be like a Jack in the Box, right? It. This is yeah. a late night stop. Yep. This is a. It's not the best. Was not the worst. Uh, I'd also put Hardee's because of its price point. I would put it in the same. Yep. If it was a little bit cheaper, can't go wrong. If it was literally like a dollar across the board cheaper. Yeah. But it's just too pricey. Sometimes when I was a kid and my dad would take me to Taekwondo, I would like go back and I'd be like, I want a thick burger. I was like 10 and this is one of the burgers. Get it? The thick burgers are like, yeah, that used to be my thing too. With yeah, it's better than a Big table. Mac back then. I'd eat that thing and go to sleep for like three hours. Yeah. So like... exactly. Love that. I love a good food coma. Pizza Hut is one of my least favorite pizza Yeah, it, it, for me, it used to be one of my favorite, and I used to work yes, for them. Yes, when I was a kid. When but, I was little, yeah, all the cheese. But it and was you my go... favorite. Oh, my bad, go ahead. Well, just quickly, another one that uh, that is more of a sit down place, especially back in the day. Oh yeah, like after a baseball game or after. Baseball. Yes, and they had that buffet. Yeah, but they don't they don't seem to have that too much anymore. And that was the thing that kind of put it up there. Yeah. When it became just a delivery pizza place, it made you look at the pizza differently. Like it wasn't a social yeah. pizza place anymore. And yeah. it used to be the only place really that offered stuffed crust pizza at a reasonable price point, and then. Finally, in 2020, everyone realized, oh, stuffed crust pizza is really good. And so mm. now everybody's doing it. And like I said earlier, Papa John's does it better. And it just made me realize how greasy Pizza Hut is. And it's too much <laughs> cheese. It's too much cheese for me. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I'll put it in sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it in sure. Like, if it's around at a party, I'm not going to turn my nose up to it. But I will wish it was Papa John's. I feel like we need some more in the can't go wrong. Like, what's some... Ones we like. Oh, and they can't go I'm sorry wrong. If, I think if that... my nose blowing is disgusting. Just um. I feel like Portillo's. Sorry about can't that. Go wrong. Portillo's is good. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that can go there. I feel like Five Guys can go there. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah, good fries. Yeah. Yeah, because like Five Guys, they overload the fries yeah. too, so you definitely can't go wrong going there. If you're... Honestly, with Five Guys, the well. fries are better than the burgers. Yeah. Yeah. And good. you get a shit ton of them too. And Portillo's got some of the best shakes. Yeah. And some of the best burgers. This is some of the most expensive burgers. <laughs> For me, fast food in price is definitely a thing. Like it definitely. No, it is a factor, and that's what. Yeah, that's what knocked it from. Let's get some. Yeah. For sure. Okay. And then we got IHOP. I'm trying to see. We don't have an In and Out. I know it's a really popular one on the West Coast. Yeah, In and Out. Yeah, West Coast. Yeah, never been to know. Church's Chicken. There was one in St. No, Louis, never. but I never. Like, yeah, more of a Southern know. thing. Yeah. So. Raising Canes. Never been to Raising Canes. To me, IHOP, I make fun of IHOP, but I put it in, like, can't go wrong. Yeah, because really it's not that pancakes. bad of a place. It's just not. Good pain. No, it's it's good. usually, yeah. like, this is, like, IHOP becomes what Denny's was to you in high school. Yeah, it, when exactly. When you grow up, it's like, I'm drunk or I'm, I'm hungover. Sure, let's go there. Let's goof around. Yep. And we'll, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Be on our phones, be kind of a little too loud. Remember when they, like, tried to be IHOP? Obnoxious. Just as a yeah, for, like, literally a month and a half. That was funny. Yeah. Like, don't do Failed. that. You're not no that was like failed market employee. That was like when they, like, killed Brian on Family Guy. People were like, you know they're this now? Nothing's going to be the same. Like, they're definitely not just doing it for, like, a month. <laughs> oh, now you guys care. Do you remember they had a replacement dog, too? Yeah. And he was, he's like, Italian. he was Italian, yeah. What was, it? What was he on? It was funny. I'm sorry, right. Dom. So, Noodles so, and Company. That they, that they, they did that to you. <laughs> Yeah, noodles is good. That, it actually good bangs. Mac and it and bangs them really well. Good That's really go if you haven't been. That's really good. Gone. Not interested. I've never been to Penn Station, but I hear a lot of people Same. like when we got one in Springfield. A lot of people got like really hard for it. So if I bet, it's not very memorable. A lot of these, yeah, I've not had. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Sure. A ton of these, actually. And now all of these are like the ones we were talking about at the beginning in our disclaimer. Don't know what PDQ chicken is. Don't know what Pot Bellies is. Don't oh, know what Torchy's Taco is. I will say, okay, so there's a few I've had at least. Oh, at Firehouse least Subs once, is so. here. We know what that is. I've never been, yeah. but we have one. I've, yeah, oh. we have one. I've never been it. So here's the Dinesons down there. Well, down in Phoenix, Arizona, we stopped there once. All I know about Swenson's is that they had very good ice cream. I didn't have anything else but dog good food. ice cream. Good ice cream. They get a dog, dog food. food. They get a dog food for that. Good, good ice cream, cream is good ice cream. Dog food. Yeah. So, <laughs> Dogs love ice cream, but... Um, oh, yeah, Skyline, I know Chili. That's the big Cincinnati. Oh, Wingstop. I didn't even sure. see that there. Wingstop. I think Wingstop hits, actually. Yeah. Like, you don't want too much of it. Yeah, made me sick last time, but that's okay. That was on me. Oh, but well, maybe they could go wrong. Okay. Yeah, well, that's wrong. that's me. That's me though. That's that's, that's my that's issues. Good. It was too oily sure. for me. Sure. I, it was my judgment. Can't go wrong, Mister um, Dom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Waffle House. Have any of you guys been? To- oh, I love. I didn't even it's see that. I love Waffle House. Food here, though. I love Waffle House. It kind of is fast food. It's definitely fast waffles. definitely fast waffles, but cheap waffles. Yeah. Like you can get, it's the it's only fast, place that gives you cheap, like double it's... stack waffles that are really good for like six hours. Big. I feel mm-hmm. like if we had grown up like in Georgia instead of Illinois, it would have been. We would have lived Southern at the Illinois. Waffle House. There's a lot of in Southern Illinois. There is a lot in Southern Illinois. You're right, but nice. yeah, they. I don't they know how you guys feel Illinois, about it. So. I let's I put in let's get some at least. Almost, uh, but we can debate it. I, you know what? I trust you because I haven't had it since I was I was a kid. Okay. I just had it once. Because I personally put it almost twice. fine dining, but I know that there's also there's a grand debate a that waffle houses are gross. But it's, it's, it's <laughs> easy that you really love Waffle House or you think they're the grossest place ever. There's no there's nobody that's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, no in between. So there's somebody that's probably going to be in the comments like, I can't believe you put it up there. That should be dog food, dude. So. Uh, save fire, it firehouse uh, yeah save that shit dude firehouse subs and quizzes are like the last Leave that two shit on the, the list I, I guess we could do jersey mics but i don't go there like i know of uh, these places but same I don't, I don't well that's how i feel about firehouse yeah too um i'm not you a guys big sub style there. if i want to sub i usually just go to head west have you had shake shack yeah mm-hmm. i have I, I had it in chicago a few years ago um it's all right kind of heavy um, but it's okay. not like okay. fast food, fast food. Again, it's one of those like steak and shake. It's even uh, almost a little more expensive if I think. It almost reminded me more of like Red Robin or something. But wow. you know, it was okay. fine. Because um, Red Robin definitely before. is not fast food. They I take don't know. It's, it, I liked my burger. I think it was the only time I had it. Um, yeah, I think it was fine. But it doesn't sound like that it blew you away really though. Like no, a lot no, of but, but it, it was good. I mean, it was fast food certainly it's like a tier above but uh okay, okay. yeah i don't i was kind of in a hurry i had it i just needed something and it was by but it, i liked it okay at the time i don't know i i usually love maybe maybe we'll put it up there at um can't go wrong sure maybe where, maybe where sure we can't go wrong what, what is Shake, this? it was good actually you know i put it it can't go wrong where are we at where was this uh this was um, uh, this shake, is, shack. um shake shack Green burger. Uh, and that's going to go right into the can't go wrong. Can't go so we wrong, got a nice though. bell curve going here. Yeah, we I do. think this we is our. Like guys, can we take a moment to say I think this is our best tier list that we've ever done? No, yeah, we got a nice this bell is, curve. Is, if we tier our tier list, this is definitely up there. Like, we, yeah. I know we're coming back from a break, but it's like, we, you know, we kind of can't miss here. I think um, we've got like. A, a really LeBron James has a three month break day. between seasons, and he just, you know. He got the Benjamin <laughs> button. Apparently, he just keeps getting better as he gets older. So yeah, like, we're we're all exactly like LeBron James. You're right. We're all the LeBron James of podcasting for sure. We're for pretty much yeah. So can't miss. If you ask me, and and saying that we have the authority to say that all these other restaurants are in a different tier called. Uh, we don't know, but we're right. We don't. We don't get it. We don't know, right. but we're right. So love love that pending judgment. Yeah. No, not even that. Well, I mean, yeah, pending save judgment. Save it, save pending it. Pending judgment, but I'm going to call pending judgment. We don't know that we're right. Yeah, we don't know we're right. All right. So this is the list, y'all. Uh, make your own list in the comments. Talk about it um, amongst your peers. Uh, bring it up in uh, social studies. 
class for no reason. Uh, please, please. If you have a presentation for the your internet. final coming up, just play this video. And don't say please anything. When they it. ask you questions, just put your hand up like this to tell them to be quiet and let us finish. Yeah. You'll get an A, I promise. So this is Koala Bear Gang. I'm Josh.UA. I got a Josh. link tree in the description and popping up under me right now. It's That's down it. there? What? Huh? You wanna, you wanna introduce yourself? Oh, um, hey, I'm Tim. You can find, you, you know, I probably have a link tree too or something. Check me out. Uh, that's that's all. <laughs> all right, let's hear it for Tim. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Sick, sick Tim. Uh, I'm so sick. I'm Dominic. You can find me at Domcell on Instagram. That's D O M M C E L L. Uh, author Emmy the Robot. You can find that on Webtoon. Well, or you can find me on Twitter at Dom Cellini Arts. Yeah. That's right. There you go. And this is, once again, Quad Bear Gang. Make sure you subscribe and leave a like and let us know what you think. See you at the next episode. Uh, peace. Eat at any of these Thanks. fine establishments here. We Thanks, endorse Gary. them. We endorse all of them. Except the dog food, or like maybe go no, there them too. too. Them too, you know. Okay, what? okay, okay, okay. Yeah, eat dog. Yeah. Dog food. You want dog food? Hey, I'm a dog. I'm a dog out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>